Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to show how to use a frequency table to find the range, the mode, the median, and the mean. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, the range is just the difference between the high and the low. And so the uh, low number is 5, the high is 10. So let's just go 10 minus 5 equals 5. So the range is pretty straightforward. Next, the mode is just the number that appears most often in the data set. And so you just look at the frequency and five appears most often, four is the greatest. Now let's move on to the median. Now for the median, uh, I think the easiest way of using a frequency table is just to rewrite your numbers from smallest to larger and how many each appear. And so the frequency table gives you that data. So five appears four times then 6 appears 3 times, and then the 7 appears 2 times, the 8 appears 2 times, same with the 9, and same with the 10, okay? So you may want to double check. I know that I have 15 numbers, so I may want to count just so I don't make a mistake. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I do have 15 numbers. Now I just eliminate them because you know the median uh, let me go ahead and write what we're looking for. The median is the number right in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to start eliminating. I'm going to eliminate one from this side, one from this side. See what I'm doing? Okay, slowly go through each of these until I get the number in the middle. And it is seven. Now, what if you have an even number and you get to the middle and there are two? Say, for instance, if I added a number, 5 here, I would get to 6 and 7. So what you do is you take the average of those two if you have a even number. But in this, I have an odd, so it works out to where 7 is the median. Okay. Now let's move on to the very last one, and that is going to be the mean, and we'll have to do a little bit of work for that. Now, for your mean, the mean is is equal to the sum of all numbers number divided by okay so sum of all your numbers divided by n which is the total of how many numbers you have in the data set so to find n all i have to do is total up this column and that is 15 because i have 15 numbers in my data set now, in order to find the sum of all numbers, I can just take the number times how many times it appears. So 5 times 4 is 20. 6 times 3 is 18. This is 14, 16, 18, and 20. And so now if I total this up, it will give me the sum of all of the numbers. And when I do that, it is a hundred and six. So now if I plug this into the formula, I have a hundred and six, which is the sum of all numbers divided by the total numbers. I have 15 numbers total. And when you divide that, it's approximately 7.06. And that would be your mean. And some people look at that as the average. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.